You're watching the AKC Yukonuba National Championship, and this is Best in Show. Starting with the sporting group, this is the Irish setter named Emily. This is a dog with quite a resume, the number one Irish setter in the country, the number eight sporting dog, four best in shows. Ed, what's it like to judge something this big? I can't really tell you. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Having done it, you're excited, you're up, you're positive. You don't even get really nervous about it because you're so into what you're doing. Next, the representative from the working group. This is Bosco, the boxer. And uh, this is the number two boxer in the country and the number five working dog, Gina. Yep, very successful year she's had. And as an owner handler, she's got to be super excited to be here. Um, it's Wendy Bettis. Absolutely. Yeah. At this point, you're just trying to stay calm, stay focused, and make sure the dog is putting all its feet in the right place. <laughs> and Gina, that's a position you've been in. Absolutely. It is so much fun to be in Best in Show because at this point, you can't lose. You've gotten there. The next group out, the, the representative from the hound the group. Stone. This is Era, the Greyhound, and again, the number two number Greyhound in the country. A couple of Best in Shows under her belt. You know, it's very difficult to make a Greyhound a show dog. Really? Because they're laid back, they're into other things, and they don't show like a lot of breeds. They just show this lovely natural beauty and stand out there. Mm -hmm. And she's gone a little bit further with this bitch, and it's paid off for her. There's quite a bit of teamwork between these two. Here is the standard poodle from the non-sporting group. This is Jetta. The number three the standard, standard poodle in the country, the number six oh. non-sporting dog, 13 best in shows. Wow. Well, we've never had a dog from Canada win the national championship, so perhaps oh, this wow, is that's the year. Yeah. Internationalism. Sarah Riedel is the handler of this dog. Linda Campbell is the owner. And the dog, in fact, from Toronto in Canada. And she did a great job right there of settling the dog down before she headed back towards Mr. Moore. Lovely use of the lead. Very pretty stack at the yep. end there. Great energy on this dog. We're supposed to have it. Yeah. Well, now from the herding group is Sax, the rough collie. Number one rough collie in the country, the number three herding dog, 17 best in shows. Well, this is a lovely bitch. She has a gorgeous neck and shoulder. She has a lovely color and face. She has gorgeous proportion with some leg under her. She's really a nice bitch. The coat is really the hallmark of this breed, isn't it? Well, the head is more the, oh, okay. the hallmark, but she's in great coat, and the timing on it is perfect for the dog show. And it's not easy to keep them looking the toy like that. Group. Right. Judged by Mr. Taylor. From the toy group is the toy is poodle toy named poodle. Walker, the number, number one poodle. toy poodle, the number one toy dog, the number eight dog in the USA, with 32 best in shows. Well, that's what the national championship is all about. Quality versus quality. And at the end of the day, who's going to win? Probably the dog that catches the judge's eye. Kaz Hozaka, the handler of this dog. And uh, they don't get much better than this guy. He knows his stuff out there. And now from the terrier group, terrier this group. is Sadie, the Scottish the terrier. This is the number one terrier. Scotty, the number one terrier, the number one dog in the USA with 109 best in shows. Well, it's very hard sometimes, I think, to be the heavy favorite. The pressure's on the handler, the pressure's on the owners. <laughs> pressure's on the competition, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. It's on everybody. Yeah. There's pressure on everybody. But Gabriel's doing a beautiful job, and the dog looks awesome. And I want to say something about Bob Moore. Bob Moore is our longest-serving all-breed judge in the United States. He is a very well-qualified dog man. He has judged dogs for many years with the respect of many people. And I think it's appropriate that he be doing this 125th year. And as he takes a final look, let's get Judge Moore's thoughts on the champions that he judges. Most of them really like the attention they're getting. They like to be with the people who are handling them. They feel secure with them. I've seen dogs that when they win, they'd run and jump up on the stand, still vibrant and eager to be seen. There's all this passion and drama in Bob's statement. Yeah, yeah. 
I bet you've seen some handlers jump up on the stand too, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, you worked an entire year for a moment like this. It's a culmination of a lifetime of breeding and sure. dedication. And hopefully, your dream was about to come true. Decades of work. What's it like from Bob Moore's perspective? It's a different perspective than I can even tell you. It is totally different. But as I see these people go around the ring, I understand what they really put into this to get sure. there. You have this man from Mexico, a kid from Japan. You have all this, and they want it badly. Well, I think uh, the decision may have been made. I have goosebumps, by the way. Yep, Judge Moore <laughs> is going over to sign the book. And here come some of the VIPs who helped to make this event possible. Yukonuba's Vicki Seiler, Jason Taylor, and Dan Rajak, the Senior Vice President, Global Procter & Gamble Pet Care. And now let's hear Mr. Rajak's thoughts on the competition. The Best in Show is the big award for our national championship. And each year we award the Yukonuba Celebration of Champions Trophy. We award $50,000 to the winner. It is emotional. Boy, it sure is. Also in the ring now, Long Beach Mayor Bob Foster, Mr. John Perfect, the president of the New Zealand Kennel Club, and Mr. Dennis Sprung of the American Kennel Club. And here comes Ron Menneker and Judge Moore with our verdict. This is an absolutely beautiful lineup. Tough decisions to make, but tonight goes to the Scotty. Oh, Gabriel got it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. From third to second to first place, a national championship for Sadie and Gabriel Rangel. Look at her. Great type, great coat, great presentation, and wonderful condition. Wow. What a night. Leanza? An incredible win for handler Gabriel Rangel and champion Roundtown Mercedes of Mary Scott Sadie, the Scottish Terrier. In their third consecutive bid for dominance in the Terrier group, one, they ended up going all the way to the year's biggest win. The Scottish Terrier. I never experienced anything like this. It's so exciting. With an unstoppable combination of looks and attitude, this team took on the best dogs in the country and came out on top. She's what the standard calls for. It's the thrill of winning the AKC's highest honor in its 125th anniversary year. We congratulate you. We are delighted and we're thrilled. And earning a place among the victors of the past on the Yukonuba Celebration of Champions trophy, not to mention the biggest prize in dog shows. $50,000. And reaffirming Sadie's place as the number one ranked dog in the country. And now, our new AKC Yukonuba National Champion. Congratulations to you all on a great show in Long Beach. For Bob Goen, Ed Bibbon, and Gina DiNardo, I'm Leanza Cornette saying thanks for joining us and good night.